Today in the news, NVIDIA's teaser sends me into a rabbit hole. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. As you might already know, since it kind of blew up on Twitter yesterday, the company's Twitter account released a small video teaser with the hashtag Ultimate Countdown for the upcoming Ampere line of GPUs. A small video of an explosion with some cool sound effects. Then they updated their banner with 21 days, 21 years. As for the significance of these two time spans, 21 years is how long ago Nvidia released their first ever GeForce card, the GeForce 256. As as for 21 days, it's likely the day NVIDIA will announce Ampere. Scratch that, it's not likely, it is. NVIDIA just created a web page with a countdown to the reveal on September 1st. They're also creating a community event where you can put overlays with the year and the hashtag ultimate countdown. Oh, and they're telling you to put a green circle around your Twitter profile pic. I'm gonna put the community kit, that's what they call it, so that you can make your own hashtag ultimate countdown and uh, be prepared. The memes are coming. Now, others have dug way deeper, and I can't take any credit of it with the connections on the numbers. 21 times 256 is equal to the amount of CUDA cores the GA102 chip, aka Ampere's top of the line gaming GPU, would have. The same number when added together as 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 6 gives us 21. Now, that's as far as I'm personally willing to go following that thread. Thankfully, a new one has just opened since NVIDIA's Twitter account just teased us with another video with the caption, what's happening? Take a look. Now that sounds like a modem handshaking to another. I ran the tone and put it through a DMTF tone detector and it returns you with what looks like a phone number. 1570-234-0003. Now as I was trying to go further, people on Twitter were already far ahead of me. That number is actually the handshake to Pennsylvania's central hub of the olden days of dial-up. Now the only connection here, and it's a stretch, is that Nvidia has offices there related to deep learning and robotics. Either the company has made some pretty insane strides on deep learning for DLSS, or we're about to get a green spot robot. Maybe he plays games, who knows? Now, can we get more from all that? Well, maybe, but that rabbit hole has already pulled me in deep. I mean, apparently a guy named William Termini recorded that sound from his iMac G3 and someone posted it online in 2012. <laughs> Moving on, but not really since we're still talking about Nvidia, it looks like we won't have to wait for third-party Ampere cards. Anthony Gareffa over on Tweaktown.com received exclusive information from one of his sources from a board partner saying that custom Ampere GPUs would launch alongside Founders Editions, or at the very least, very shortly after. Now, Nvidia will apparently have a few special things in stores for their Founder Edition cards. It apparently has its own board nomenclature of P PG-133 instead of 132 for AIBs. It has the weird short PCB. We saw one of apparently a couple of cooler designs a few months ago, and there's the 12 pin power connector. Whether AIBs will have access to those features is still unknown, but it looks like Nvidia is cooking up something special, especially at that TDP. Hey Shut up. The name is also likely to be different. Hashtag ultimate countdown. Yeah, after the whole super naming scheme, I doubt it's a coincidence. And that 20 one number maybe going from 1000 to 2000 was sparked by the whole ray tracing slash tensor cores and since ampere is an iteration rather than an evolution 2100 series seems more natural i mean we might be looking at a 2180 ultimate for all i know but that's enough for the speculations let's move on Next up, we got some Xbox news. Remember that white controller that leaked a few videos ago? Well, I had my doubts about the leak, but it looks like it's real and it's for all of the consoles. Well, all of the Xbox consoles. The leaker on Twitter who goes by the handle of Zach.exe has posted photos and an unboxing of the controller. The box itself shows that the color is called Robot White and that it's compatible with not only the Xbox Series X, but also the S, confirming its existence. It's also compatible with Windows 
Windows 10, iOS, Android, and Xbox One. Apparently, once he updated his console, the controller was actually recognized as a Series X controller on his Xbox One X. I'm personally still using the first gen Xbox One controller on my PC with the USB dongle, so I'm glad I'll have something special to look forward to to replace it. And that is pretty much it for the catch up guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories, especially that rabbit hole. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to stay frosty and I'll see you guys on the next one. Snow's out.